Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Oh, what what have I done? I accidentally left. Dang it. I've done that all week. Why? Whew. Sorry, guys. I keep leaving this up. I don't mean to. But since it was up, I didn't want to mention it, but since it was up, I'm your Tackle Tuesday season champ. Just figured I'd throw it out there. No, in all seriousness, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partnered content creator, and we got a little excitement going on this morning. But before we hop into it, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. We're just out here doing what we do, you know, giving you what you need to succeed. And if it doesn't work, it's demonic fatness or Mike's fault. If it does work, I did a good job. That's what I think. But anyway, guys, let's look at it. Let's, we're out here to try to catch Alejandro, the big 44-pound brown trout. Let's look at him and see what we can figure out about this dude and look at where he's at on today, December 14th. We're going to learn how to catch him today. And as you know, you know the drill by now. The next time he pops up, he'll probably be at a different location. So this video here is how to find him, how to... How to catch him. Hopefully we catch him during this video and we can look at the fight and what to do. But let's look at everything that is required or what we know about this dude anyway. Okay, if you go over here, you can click on legendary fish. You can see here, we can tell the the weight for La Monstrica, you know, and, and all that. And we, we can even look at the traits, you know, deep speech, the gurgling. That's how I found her. But we haven't caught Alejandro, so all we really know is the baits that they like. Um, and we don't know how big he is here. But thankfully to Discord and people that have caught him already, he's 44 pounds. And he prefers, he has the eagle-eyed trait, Alejandro Magno will not become interested in or bite any lures or bait until a lure has been twitched in the water. Now, I don't know how that works for bait, how you twitch a bait. But I know that I can twitch a popper, so I'm going to stick that on there. I have seen a variety of baits in the official angler discord. I've seen people have caught him on spinner bait, popper, and just a regular spinner. But I did see the popper used. I have a number two popper on right now. That's what I had on me. Hopefully that works, but I know a number one has been used. A two should work. Um, as well hopefully we don't have other fish biting that but if we do maybe it's a goat or a diamond so anyway that's his traits now let's look at something else if you hit the tab button you can see everything that he bites the first three are listed here spoon spinner dough so after that you can see when you hit tab leeches popper minnow frog crankbait swim bait jerk bait spinner bait so what's this telling us? No bottom fishing on this dude. We want, we want to fish for him up toward the top. So where's he at? Now, I know that's what everybody's thinking about right now. Where in the world is this dude at? Right here. Right here is where he's at. Now there was a little glitch, I want to say, and I may send this in to Jaxie or if he needs footage or just tell him or whatever, however that's done. I'm also going to report it in the angler discord and if you guys see this bug as well you all could just go and instead of making a new thread find one like if i'm the first one to report it for example just find that one and just reply on that one if we bump the same one up it has a greater effect than 50 different threads just find one and bump it up that way you know, instead of people looking and saying, oh, there's just one person, one person, one person, you know, they're not going to. But if they see 50 people are commenting on it, then they're going to look at it or have, be more apt to look at it. So here's the bug, though. Uh, I left the map. It turned dark on me and I wanted it to be daytime because I was like, sometimes you can see these fish. So I didn't want to go fishing for it at night unless it says like the last one was uh, it gurgles at night. So I prefer that one at night. But for this one. Maybe maybe he comes to the surface at some point and I can cast toward him. So that's that's what I'm talking about. All right. So he was in this area is where he was caught. He could probably be up there, probably be down here, just somewhere in this area. But here's the thing. When I put the marker down and left the map, 
and found this map, which is a good time, the marker was gone. And I think it's because if you all remember when they first brought Spain out, the three legendary fish markers were up for a few days and they didn't mean for it to be, so they removed them. So whatever that code was that they put in to remove them from the map, I think is still there because when you leave the map, if you have these legendary fish on there, it removes the marker. So that's nothing game changing, but it's something that I'm just gonna report that way they can fix that. So it doesn't keep removing our marker on the legendary fish every time we leave. So no big deal. It's nothing that's that major, but just whenever they can fix it, that would be helpful, especially by the time, you know, he comes back around again or some of the other ones come back around. But anyway, guys, let's summon our boat and let's go over and see if we can find Alejandro for the very first time. Wish me luck. All right, guys, we're at the spot. We're going to look at our setup. This is what I'm using. I'm using the Capitan because I'm still labeling it. It's plenty enough. 33 pound line. As you can see, 33 pound braided line. The Stewart Rod and the number two popper. Now he's 44 pound fish, 33 pound line. I'm not just gonna muscle him in. I'm still leveling this rod right here and this should be plenty enough. Be a little bit of a fight. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's see. If we can get this dude. First, I'm going to do a little sight fishing. Just look. I don't even know if he comes to the surface ever. But I'm just doing a little sight fishing. And just remember to twitch, guys. Remember to twitch. So for right now, my strategy is I'm just going to I'm going to start at the tip of my boat and cast. And, and go probably to the left or right just a little bit while twitching. And just reeling it in. And we'll see what happens. I'll record a little bit of my technique. And hope that he bites while I'm recording. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast out. Right now I'm leaving it on speed of three. Because I was catching some brown trout. A lot of gold brown trout yesterday. Leaving it on a speed of three. So they're pretty fast fish. Make sure to twitch. Because these fish, like Goldstein... If you're not twitching, he ain't biting. Also with Goldstein, if you reel past like five, six seconds, he's not going to bite either. He goes after the splash. So you might as well cut your line after you've been reeling for five or six seconds and cast again. That's the way you catch Goldstein. But, but that's my technique. I'm just going to notice how I went left a little bit. I'm going to continue casting. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it or not. I mean, I would imagine it is. It says you got to twitch. Um, anybody else has any secrets out there to make it quicker or easier? Let me know. But I figure I'll cast all the way around the boat and then I'll just move a little bit. I'll just go in a circle. If I see him coming behind it, I'll drop it to a two, If I'm especially if I'm getting close to the boat. Um, I feel like that's him right there. I feel like that's him. That's a big old fish right there. That's why I like fishing in the daytime. I'm dropping it to a two because that's about where he was right there. There he is again. He is right there. Not coming after it. And then that scared him off. Right here he is. What's the deal there? I mean, I guess. Okay guys, something very interesting is going on here. I've seen this fish for a long time. And right there he is again. And like he won't ever come after my bait. Like. I've seen him attract and lock onto it 
right when the bait is at my boat. Let's see if he does it again. But he won't ever bite it. Like he's attracted to it right now. No. He just won't bite it. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I've tried many different baits. I've even tried dough, which I don't know how you twitch dough. And right there he is. He will not lock onto it. I switched to a two alt. I've tried a number two. Um, he is not wanting to go for my bait. I don't understand this. Right there he is. And now it looks like he wants to come to it and then it gets to the boat. That's what happens just about every time. He rises and starts making a straight line for my bait right when it's at the boat. I don't get it. I don't understand this. There he is again. He's come, He's locked on to it now. I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do then. I'm going to move my boat just a little bit. I don't know if it has something to do with this location I'm at. I'm just going to get a little bit further away from him. Give him time, I guess, to get attracted to my lord. Maybe it just takes a long time and I was parked too close to him. That's, that's my thought right now. But he's too far away, see? There it is. He was. He was locked on again, but he would not... What is going on here? He locks on to it right when it's at my boat. And he don't have enough time to swim over and, and get it. Speed of one, let's go. See, he's locked on to it again, I think. Yeah, he's coming right at it. This time. It's just so slow, is it? I don't think he's going to catch up to it. I'm going to quit. And if you quit twitching, he quits following. There he is again. I'm going to cast past him. Full cast. Right over his back. He is so slow. Maybe he locks on about the time we're close to him. He's very finicky. There he is again. He's locked on. We're almost at the boat once again. Every time he locks on, we're at the boat. Has anybody else had this issue? There, here we go. Hey, after at that time. He's has a big look at him right there. He decided he wanted it that time. He almost beat it. he's going after it this time okay we got him he's on man he's hateful so i guess it's just perseverance let's get him we had some trouble getting him to bite guys the number two popper he finally bit just cast him real close to the boat. One speed is, I think, key. He's a little bit of a fight. It's not bad, though. See how I'm uh, bumping it up into the cherry red? 
that helps to wear him out a lot quicker. Now, 33 pound line, the steward rod and the Capiton reel um, and 65% drag seems to be what's working for me, just bumping it up. We'll wear him out pretty quickly this way. I've got my finger on that Z button just in case. But that's where I like to keep it around that nine o'clock, just bumping it up just a little bit. Just a little little tug and I wonder what was going on there if it's just it takes several casts to get him interested or what the deal is that eagle eye is something different I even threw a doe out there for a little while and he, he acted like he was interested there for a second and then he just swam away when it goes back to the white it's kind of like he's taking a breath and getting ready to do a big run again. So that's not when you want to be doing a big long pull. If you do long pulls like that right there, like when it when it goes back, like right here, I don't want to do that because see, he takes a run right after that every time. That's not when you want to do a long pull to make it ground. You know, like right here, he's going to run. There, there we go. See, you do a long pull on, right at the wrong time and it goes all the way around, it can snap your line. So... We're not hearing that music either when uh, these legendaries on Spain. I noticed that the last time when we catch it and when someone else catches it. There's always like a little chime, like a little sound. We're not hearing that either. Uh, I did mention that to Jaxie. So they're aware of it. But this made it a fun fight, guys. I could have thrown on a 66 pound line jerked his teeth out you know and got him in here what's the fun in that though plus let's see how much Ooh. look at that got three percent on the rod popper number two popper is what i used took five minutes to get him in not that bad not that bad at all and there he is, guys. Alejandro Magno. Let's get us a good screenshot. We gotta make us a good thumbnail out of this, you know? Oh yeah, baby. Big Wampus Cat. We are right here. This weird shaped lake, as Demonic likes to describe all these lakes. And I'm like, dude, you're gonna have to narrow it down. But right here is where you want to fast travel to Pasos. Del Bellarian and hop in a boat come around the curve right here let me know if your legendary label thing disappears let me know uh, mine did but that is where he is I saw him he likes to surface I highly suggest you go after him during the daytime but anyway guys if you would hit that like subscribe notify bell if you haven't already Share this video with your friends. Let's get the word out. And remember, December 21st, we're having a subathon starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to put two hours on the clock. You all get to determine how long I go. Subathon right here on YouTube. And as you know, subs are free. Subs add three minutes onto the clock. Members or gifted members add 10 minutes onto the clock. And then any super chats are a dollar a minute. How long am I going to go? I don't know. But I'm also giving back to the community. We're going to give some steam keys. I think I've got five or six steam keys to give away. Um, I have some merch as well. So it's going to be a fun time. And depending on how long we go, we may play some Hunter Call of the Wild as well. But just depends. It's in your all's hands. It's in your all's hands. I am your Tackle Tuesday champion, you know, since, since uh, I accidentally put this up earlier. You know, I didn't. I wasn't going to mention it. I wasn't going to mention it. You know, I was just going to let it go. This is probably the last time you'll ever hear me talk about it, you know. I'm just a humble guy, and I'm very blessed and fortunate to win Tackle Tuesday by seven points. You know, very fortunate. Uh, I appreciate you guys. We're going to catch you in the next video. Good luck out there. Go catch Alejandro. Size two popper, baby. You guys have an awesome weekend.